Could this be the CX-30 sweet spot? Upgraded signature lighting, gloss black wheels and accents, white leather interior, rear power liftgate, upgraded infotainment and amenities, and that zoom zoom turbo power under the hood. What's up everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And you see behind me, way back there, the beautiful Turbo Premium CX-30 in Platinum Quartz. And we're gonna go inside, we're gonna go outside, we're gonna go all the way around so that you can decide if this vehicle, in fact, is the sweet spot and it's the right vehicle for you. So let's jump in. More, 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 more car vids. More, more. Getting started up front, this, of course, builds from the premium, although we do add the turbo engine, which gives you the exterior upgrades of the black wheels, gloss black matching side mirrors, and of course, with the other premiums, you have the upgraded signature lighting. These are adaptive lights, LED projector beam, but also little accents here on the sides, which are really nice. Uh, with all others in this platform, you also have the LED strip down here, which is uh, for blinkers and other things. Also, you can see down there with the way the sun's coming in, the active grill shutters, which you see on most of our turbos and some of our non-turbos. Uh, but that is designed to help cool or warm the engine. In this case, they're shut to warm the engine. And uh, yes, we do have the turbo power under there, which makes it really nice. And you can see this uh, nice design here of the uh, kind of a triangular sheath here is uh, probably that gloss black. So it does represent the uh, sheath armor of the uh, Japanese samurai is where that design comes from. And of course it's gloss black as well, very nice. And this one is in my new favorite, the Platinum Quartz. Uh, the more and more I see it, it's just getting so beautiful with all the gloss black accents on some of these uh, upper trims. And uh, silver was one of those colors that I did like, but didn't, you know, it ranked okay on my list. But this one replaced the silver in a lot, and it's very beautiful because it has that premium look. Uh, you know, see the, the mica in there, but that premium look of uh, kind of that off-white beige with um, you know some of these other gloss black features that I love. And I guess I did get a little bit dusty and dirty as I came back here. The grass was mowed yesterday or today. Of course, we also have a moonroof up top with the premium. And of course, they're going to roof rails as standard. We need to wrap those. Uh, that would look really good. Uh, but over here, you have an LED strip blind spot monitoring hello hazard signal of course these are the upgraded um advanced keyless entry so you just slide your hand in there and then this groove right here you touch it to lock fuel door right here so push lock it gives you some time if you uh, lock the car to put gas in it and uh, before it'll lock on you but it's it's protected dual exhaust back here in the back with the turbos you get a little bit bigger outlet so a little bit deeper sound and um, you know, it's very nice. And of course, a little bit different uh, exhaust gas breathing for the uh, turbos. Then you have the badges up here that all match Sky Active G Turbo. Um, you do have the power rear lift gate and of course the upgraded LED lighting in the back as well. So power rear lift gate with this button here and my son Xander's favorite, the ultimate lock. So push it, locks all the doors and the lift gate comes down. This one has the uh, cargo mat uh, upgrade here, the all weather mat. And these are 60, 40 split here. You can release them with these uh, buttons right here. And um, they are, you do have that uh, material there. So it's a little bit more durable than leather. So it won't get scratched, torn or scarred up with uh, cargo and those would fold flat. And you can add a cargo cover right here and you're getting a peek of the interior, but this is some of my favorite interior, the white leather. And a very, very beautiful car. Of course, in this design, we do have the shorter windows and higher door cards. Uh, so just everything looks real sleek up top there in this kind of coupe look. 
and how it's designed back there. Um, you do have a little bit of cargo, but not as much headroom uh, in the back as some competitors because of how sleek it looks. But I think it looks really good. It's almost like a, a hatchback, but not quite a hatchback. Just right for the CX-30. Now let's check out under the hood. So the Skyactiv-G turbo that we're familiar with, the same 2.5 liter, this is upgraded from 192 to 227 with regular fuel because of that turbo back here in the back. And then with premium fuel, you can get to 250. Of course, you do have some uh, controls here for the, the timing of the turbo and how it functions with the, uh, kind of gets pre-charged with the exhaust gas. Uh, and so you don't have any turbo lag, which is one of the beautiful things of driving this vehicle. You really can't tell unless you stomp on it that the turbo is even working, but uh, you feel the torque and the performance. Speaking of torque, it's uh, 310 uh, foot pounds. And uh, then with premium, it goes to 320. So a lot of torque in this uh Light, lighter weight crossover, front wheel drive, all wheel drive uh, on demand. So as you need extra traction, it's there. And they've always offered the all wheel drive with all of our turbo models because uh, you may need some of that extra traction as you go around. And so you can see our uh, reservoir there for coolant, brake, fluid, air box, fuses, battery, uh, windshield washer, very similar to what we see on all the others. And of course, a 5W30 oil is what's used in our turbos. Great fuel economy, great performance. And this is a very fun vehicle, but this turbo really pushes it over the top. And that's why this, this trim is probably the sweet spot. Now let's check out the beautiful inside. Before we jump inside, of course, some of the upgrades. This one does have a windshield wiper de-icer. So if you are in Northern climates, uh, it will melt that ice as the wiper's going. Also something I don't uh, talk about much, but uh, when you put it in reverse, not standard, not unique to this trim, but other trims, these will lower down. And uh, so you have a better visibility uh, on one side or the other as you're backing out. And you can change that by uh, toggling left or right here to which one tilts down and which one you're looking at. So pretty good. Also see the bows here and this premium carries over the brown trim which is really nice with the cross stitching there. So you do have power windows, locks, mirrors, and uh, Bose sound, which is a nice upgrade because uh, that gives you speakers in the rear, including the subwoofer. And then you have a leather wrap steering wheel, uh, a little bit hard to see with the lights here or with the sun, but this is brown across the dash, ties into the door card beautifully, and then matches with the, um, console lid here also have usb c's down there and this one the sd card is full we do have navigation let's just crank it up real quick as it loads you do have navigation on the premium because it is a premium trim so ever since they first introduced the premiums they had navigation so uh, you get it on several trims whereas uh, that's not the case in other models uh, then you do upgrade this year to a 10.25 inch screen, which is nice. And you can see the uh, lighter headliner and the moonroof up top, overhead console, taco holder, of course, uh, LED lights, frameless auto dimming rear view mirror. And, uh, well, I'm sorry, it's just a frameless mirror, not auto dimming. You have to upgrade to the premium plus for that. And then you have this rear seat belt occupant and then also a uh, rear seat notification up top here. And you can go to the digital speedometer on the uh, iActive Sense screen. And uh, you do have a active driving display or heads up display. You can see that zero right there. Everything's real nice and uh, dual climate control, heated steering wheel, heated seats. And you do have a power seat with memory and lumbar over here. No power seat over here which is a little bit uh, bad for such a nice vehicle, but um, that's the case with the CX-30s, uh, but you can still you know, get this somewhat positioned uh, how you want it there. And it's a very comfortable seat with this perforated seats. Also, you do have wireless charger up here and uh, good position for that. And of course, your electronic parking brake, your sport mode, which is crazy in the, uh, in the turbo and then your commander control knob. 
I think that covers everything here. Let's go check out the back seat. Okay, here's a little bit of the downside of the CX-30 is this rear leg room, and we'll talk about the headroom as well when we sit down. Uh, did just want to comment real quick that this does have your lower anchors and top tethers for car seats, so you can uh, fit them back here. Again, if it's a rear-facing car seat, you probably want to put it in the middle uh, just because you may have your seats far back. And these do have uh, bolster airbags right here, actually right here, that come out, and they are designed to work with car seats. So um, you've got extra protection here, and then, of course, a curtain airbag that would come down for your uh, head and shoulders as well. The door cards are kind of plain, but you do have some cross-stitching uh, in the rear back here. And here we go. Let's slide on in. Oh, hit the seat frame. Oh. All right, so once I'm in, it's not that bad, and you can slide your feet up here. Of course, there's still a lot of room uh, up on the uh, front uh, seats there, so you could slide that up if you maybe don't need that. I tend to ride with my seat pretty far back. You do have rear air, though, which is fantastic on a day like today because the gnats are bad and I'm hot and sweaty. Uh, but I would have some relief back here. And then, of course, we all have our headrest. One thing to keep in mind, though, is you do have a little bit of a raised area right here. Uh, but if you lean forward, you know, I'm, I'm hitting my head on that from sitting this way. But most of the time, you will be sitting back. So there's kind of a cramped headroom, as I was talking about before. That goes to the style of this uh, vehicle. And you do have a fold-down armrest for cup holders. So if you uh, need the bottle holders in the doors, you can use those. Uh, if you have car seats or other storage here, uh, you will not have function of these, or passengers, you will not have function of those uh, cup holders. Uh, other than that, the white interior is uh, does get dirty easy, and it's got a bunch of black hairs from the carpet mats, but it is really easy to clean. You can use uh, any uh, over-the-counter leather cleaner and conditioner from any parts house and one thing that stands out to me is most of our seats will have a darker back but this actually is all white so you may have to be cleaning that a little bit more often once uh you know if you have small children putting their feet on this but i think it it makes this a little bit more classy to have the all white seats instead of the the black so it's a uh, you know really nice material all the way around and of course that's passed on back here as well. I think that wraps it up for our conversation here on the Turbo Premium CX-30. Of course this one, uh, I didn't catch the price, we'll check it out on the way back, but it is the sweet spot because you get a lot of the upgraded amenities and the turbo. Of course you can jump into the carbon turbo, which is actually less equipment than this, but does have that beautiful terracotta. Uh, but will only come in zircon sand. So you do have color options on this one, as well as interior options, white or black. And this one's priced at 36,560 with that uh, cargo tray accessory. And one thing else that's good about the Platinum Quartz is there is no upcharge for premium colorant. So that's pretty nice uh, with the standard mica. I really uh, can't think of a more fun car to drive than the CX-30. Add the turbo, it's really nice. And if you have any questions about this one or any else, you can always drop them down below or text me at 334-718-0504. And I can't wait to see you in a beautiful Mazda.